Always tracking, always alerting. Here's your Storm Track 15 weather. Welcome back. Time now, 549. Adam, what a beautiful Friday. I'm excited to start the day with these nice cooler temperatures, no humidity. What more could you ask for? Uh, there's not much more because after dealing with tropical systems and mm. heat, humidity, rain, all that stuff, we finally get a nice little taste of fall. I-10 at Ambassador right now looking quiet outside. No problems as you head into work this morning. And we are looking at clear skies across the area. In fact, in Lafayette, seeing those clear skies, 66 degrees right now, 61 degree dew point. And there's those north northeasterly winds around five miles an hour, adding a nice little coolness to the air too, keeping that air moving, really feeling great out there. Well, if you're going to head offshore today or really anywhere across the area, you couldn't ask for a much better day than this. Nine o'clock, we're looking at 73 degrees with lots of sunlight out there by midday in the mid 80s. So really not that hot for typically where we are at this time uh, in September and 3 p.m. 88 degrees. We may not hit 90 today thanks to that dry air and those winds around the area, but a really nice looking day. Just be careful offshore. You could still have some choppy waters with those winds increasing a little bit there. As you head out the door, maybe on this evening, you head to a high school football game. It's looking great as well. We pick it up at 5 o'clock where we see sunshine a little toasty there in the mid 80s. By the time most games are kicking off, lots of sunlight and by 9 p.m. clear skies and 75 degrees. No need for the jackets, but you're going to walk outside and feel refreshed overnight in the upper 50s to lower 60s. And then tomorrow, another nice day. However, towards the afternoon, our winds turn around out of the south and east. And I mentioned that because there's going to be an area of low pressure that forms up here in the Gulf of Mexico and tries to head northbound. It's going to send a surge of moisture. Now it could develop by Monday. But regardless, it looks like we're going to see some very heavy rain here across Acadiana. In fact, two to five inches plus with the heaviest back off to the west right now. That's next week. So we're going to be watching that closely here in your seven day forecast Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, especially. But overall, Alex, we at least get a few days of some dry weather there where we're tracking some sunlight. Just pay attention this weekend to the forecast. Definitely will, and we'll definitely enjoy the weather this weekend. Thanks, Adam. We will uh, check back with you in just a bit.